oh, I guess it's been about seven years now. Um, you think it ne can never happen to you, I became homeless. And I'd never been homeless before, so it was scary. I, I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to do. I had no family in town. It was a tough situation. My name is Betsy Rishman, and I live in Gresham. Um, I'm from the East Coast, but I've been out here long enough to say this is home. I have three children. They're all grown and up and out of the house. Employment on and off through the years, grocery clerk, um, that type of thing. Lived up in Springwater um, at Estacada for 15 years. It was nice out there. I like to fish. That's my passion, one of them, fishing and gardening. And my dog. My husband uh, died, unfortunately, so I had to sell the house. And that's when I came into to Portland the first time. Out in Gresham um, by the high school is where I was living um, at that time. Yeah, and then like I said, the bottom fell out and it's a very, very uneasy, um, scary, scary feeling to, to almost just have your car. Going into that scene, I didn't know what to expect. You know, when all was said and done, it, it couldn't have been a better place for me to have wound up. It was very safe. Um, they were very understanding, um, lots of resources. Um, they pretty much taught me, you know, what I needed to do to, to be successful, to get suitable housing, the right kind of housing. It got me here to where I'm at now, so that's what I'm very, very, very grateful for, um, you know, having my own place and my dog too, because it's tough in a car and it's tough in a shelter sometimes. I've been here three and a half years, going on four. Thank goodness for subsidized housing, you know, otherwise I couldn't afford the rent, but I, I feel very fortunate to have my own place and be right here, kind of right in the middle of anything and everything I need. There's a park one block that way. Max is right here, so it works out well. I haven't had any anybody to lean on or talk to except for the shelter, and I kind of took that step, you know, and, and tested to see if the doors were still open, even after I, you know, moved out on my own, and absolutely, they've never, they've never turned me down. Heather will come here and talk to me, or she'll talk to me on the phone, and she'll give me her opinion and her advice. Yeah, they're there for me um, financially. I get a great deal of help with my um, medical, my medicine, my doctor's appointments, and they've been moral support, you know, just to help me get through some, some tough times. The little things become more important to you, you know, um, because you appreciate a lot more. I know I do. I don't take anything for granted. I try not to.